Hello everybody, welcome back to Char Racing Collects, where today we are going to do some non-sport pack opening from a great subscriber of ours named Z's Collector <laughs> Collection. Ooh. Hey everyone. Ooh, un um. Unfortunately, has no videos on his channel, but you should all go subscribe to him anyway. Anybody that doesn't know, Z's Collection, which who has 87 subscriber, is Brian Zebart. Brian Zebart is a huge member of the card community. Um, he's been on Jimmy. He's been on Hollis. He's been on uh, Beast and Beauty. He's been on B Max. Um, he's been all the time in, on Papa J, and he buys spots and gives them out to people. But he also sends packs um, for. For people to give out or open and stuff i've seen him give packs to mess of things um epiphany a whole bunch of different uh <clears throat> excuse me a whole bunch of different channels he has no content himself but he is a big supporter of everyone else in the card community he had got a hold of me for when it was the boy jr and aj's birthday and said oh and um said he wanted to send some uh, some packs but i had mentioned on another one he had given somebody some jaws too jaws is my all-time number one favorite movie so he yeah. said that he wanted to send us some packs Sorry. a few packs is what he said you like you like uh, sharks because they're reptilians sure they're fish so we got a box from brian z's collection and he said he wanted to send us a few packs. Well, let's see if I can do this now. Ow. I'm still, it's, we're not at the end yet. Ow. It is a large ass package. A million count box or something like that, but it is full of packs. So we're gonna go through real quick and show you what packs he sent us. By the way, that does uh, not mean that there's like a million cards in each pack. So what we're going to do, we're, it, we are going to open up some of the packs, but we're going to save the sports ones to open up if we need fillers in videos. But Brian, you totally, totally went above and beyond for this. Um, I was not expecting three quarters, if not try seven eighths of the packs. You are one of the most generous guys in the card community, and we want to thank you very much. And I know from a lot of other people that they thank you very much as well. Um, you are one of the biggest uh, <coughs> supporters of the card community and everything else. And it does not go unnoticed. Card community. So I will give JR some of the packs. <laughs> and he can start. you got to move the camera Let's down. Let's baseball. I know. Well, I'm just, we're not going to open them yet. We're just going to show everybody the pack he sent us. And then we will open up a few of the packs depending on time and everything. Hey, look, else. there's Babe Ruth on the front of it. That would be Babe Ruth and Aaron Judge. So hold on, I gotta zoom in. So what is that? It is the 2019 Series One Baseball Tops. Can you move the pucks up just a little bit. There you go. I just want it in the center. That's all. Then we can zoom in a little more. It's nice and focused. Done. Is it nice and focused? Yes. Okay. So 2019 Baseball Series 1. Next up, we have uh, the U.S. Baseball Stars and Stripes set from Panini. On the package is Chris Bryant. There's eight cards per pack. And then there's 2015, it's the 2015 Hobby Collection. That's when it, that's when it came out. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There's our next packs he sent us. Okay. So 15. There's 15 of them? There's 15. Counted. I counted. Yes. So there's 15 Shaws. There's 15 Shaws. I said Shaws. Shaws. Maybe that's why I like it, because Jaws and Shaws. They rhyme. Um, thank you very much, Brian, again. That, like I said, that just totally blew me away. Then he sent us five packs of... Close Encounters of the Third Kind. We love non-sports. We're big non-sport fans here. And these are just totally awesome. Then we got five packs of... The Original Battlestar Galactica. Yep. From 1978. We got one pack of... 
annual TV Smelly Fleer. Awards. Fleer T annual oh. TV Smelly Awards stickers. There's so much gum that we're gonna have to eat. Oh yeah. <laughs> then we got three packs of Max Racing cards. Yeah. Let's drive or start here. And then we got two of them. Two Bo 1991 Bowman baseball. Yep. Okay, now technically, you know what? I'm going to separate them because... Good job. That is the victory series. Those are gone. Um, you're a little too high. you got to make sure you're centered. There you go. Sorry. There's three packs of them. Then there's three packs of them. Which is the not victory set? I have no idea. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not quite sure. Before the victory? Then we got one of these. Which is the Gong Show? Yeah. I don't know what that it's is. It's an old TV show. And it was basically America's Got Talent. But, for but they got a whole bunch of people that weren't talented and you get gonged if they didn't like you. Kind of like Nutcracker from Supernatural? No, nothing like that. Okay. We got soccer cards from 1979. Oh, wow. That's our oldest soccer oh, cards. So that goes with the sports. I'm not. I'm separating them all into oh. individual sets. Then we got some Fleer NFL football. Uh, you'll have to look on the back for a year with that one. All right. <clears throat> this one's here is drum roll, please. Da 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 da. Seventy nine. Oh okay. Then we've got a. I have no idea. <laughs> it's. It is the whack -a bats or it's a bonus whack -a bat card, game card. Game card by Hit, Spit, Swear, Scratch, and Steal baseball cards. These made by... I have no idea. New Fun Stuff series, what? Uh, if you guys want to take a look at the back, go for fun it. Fun Stuff series. I'm going to go with that it's made by Fun Stuff. I'm sure. I'm going to put that with sports. I'll have to look at that in the TCDB. Okay, then we got a pack of that. Go check out the TCDB. Uh, then we got 1988 Tops Baseball. Yeah. And we got three packs of this. And then we have three oh packs of the Batman Return set. Tops. Which is rare in Canada. No, not really. Oh, really? Is Leo Peachy rare in Canada? No, Peachy's more made in Canada. 1991. <laughs> but we were able to get Tops both up traded. here. But they was hard for the Americans to get the Opeachy set. Baseball card. Yep. We have... 1994 Topps baseball card. We have all oh my God, rookie Brian. baseball card, which means I'm going to be saying a lot of rookie. That's pre rookie. <laughs> I don't have to say that then. No. There's 1991 Fleer baseball. Yep, this one here. With, is logo, with logo stickers and trading cards inside. 1990, I think. What? I'm not sure. Okay, then we got Dunross Baseball from a year of I that. I think it's 90. I know, it's 90. Okay. I was right. Then there's another Dunross Baseball. <laughs> and we got, well, my dad said that it was Dunross Baseball, and it was. But I'm not sure about the year. I'm 88. Not. Oh, is it 88? Oh, okay. Wasn't sure if that was 89. Okay. Next. And so we got Fleer 93 Baseball, oh which God. we don't actually have that many of. And every one of these, everybody, these are all sealed packs. Yep. Completely unopened. Oh. 1986 Fleer Baseball. Yep. I think that we might need to save some of these packs for the TCDB. Maybe. I think I'm almost guaranteed. Then there's 1998 Major 89? League Baseball. Oh. 89? <laughs> 98. Oh, that's, uh, I think Griffey's rookies in that one. There's the 1991 Premier Edition of Stadium Club. Didn't know Peachy have Premier and Top Sub Stadium Club. There is the very annoying oversized Bowman 1989 baseball cards. Okay. If you're if you're a collector of baseball, then you will know that I am right in this situation. And there is 1989 score baseball. Okay. Oh, there's two packs of that. All right. Then there's two packs of the 19. 91 baseball from Leaf. There is literally Stunrod. Six cards inside. No, it's Leaf. Stunrod. Oh, it's Stunrod. <laughs> Leaf made uh, Stunrod's cards in Canada. Uh, then we have 
Clear 91 baseball. 90. Collect Clear Limited Edition sets. It's Clear 90. Sorry that I have to add no, one. I'm not 100% sure anything. what year these are. I know they're Leaf. Baseball's Greatest Grosses. Oh, we yeah. actually have a bunch of them. I'll have to look and see what year it is. Okay. Here's your next pack. Yeah, We're down to four plaques left, everybody. But plaques? Plaques. There's the 1993 Topps baseball set. Yeah. Or, sorry, 92. My gosh, you're... I'm doing it on not purpose. not doing very well reading the year. There's another 89 score. Yep. Nineteen ninety one Major League Baseball tops. Yep. And then of course he had to throw in for us. <clears throat> the rookie series of upper deck. It's not the rookie series. Sorry, it's the young guns, which means the twenty twenty one upper deck, which have the young gun cards in them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, kind O'Brien, of that uh also it's, wow. it's series two. Oh it's series two? Okay. Which we didn't have that many of. So that is just that you just totally blew us away, Brian. That is awesome. Um, what would you like to open? Uh, Pass me all the sports and I'll. Uh, I think we should open the Jaws last. Okay, why don't you open that one? Sure. Let's open it first. Sure. One. What are you giving me? Oh, are these the ones you want next? No, this is the one that I want next. Oh. Okay. I'm trying not to break the package. Okay. Neither should you. And we have to try every single gum. Oh boy. Yeah, and this is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should have brought, grabbed plastic bags. For? For the gum. Why do you need plastic bags for gum? Okay, so we have... I'm trying to take the gum off of it. Try to take the gum off that card. Oh. Well, the good thing is this is the sticker. First off, we have Bonker Mouthwash. Uh, yep. And then Fon, Fonny. Tony Orlando and Yon. I don't know who they are. It was a group, Tony Orlando and Don. Okay, there's a piece of gum. Okay. Still trying to get the gum off this last sticker. How is it? Crunchy. I don't know if I'm going to get the gum off this sticker here without. There. Mm. I think it's mint flavored. It is mint flavored. Wow. Uh, um. I actually know that. Oh, now it's cardboard bad. flavored. No, it's. I still taste mint. Oh, this one's got some paper. A bit of paper loss from that gum. It's not. That's, that's one of the better gums that we've had. Considering. And mm. that's the last card. Six million dollar man. Actually, it's ooh, I think I got a bionic hernia. <laughs> six dollar man. Yes, it's a six dollar man. <laughs> Next up, we have nineteen seventy seven. Try to keep. So this is over a forty year old gum this time. Mm. Oh, and sure enough, they put the gum right on the back of the sticker, and it kept on the sticker. Okay, uh -huh. there's your cards. So we got don't care if what anybody says before that uh, magician did his act. I had five fingers. This hat is just a little too tight. James gonna gong ya. Piece of 1977 gum. You know what? Considering it's 40, what, 45, 44 years old. Oh, it all come oh. off the sticker better than most times. Ah, that's actually pretty There's good. There's your sticker. Uh, that's her. The old lady with the kitten needles in her hair. In her hand. I've had worse gum, put it that way. Oh, I'm being flown by a flock of pigeons. Followed, not flown. 
Okay. Why is there so many twists and turns in this gong show? Is it hot in here, or am I the only one melting? Oh my god. Yeah. <clears throat> well, hide out at the gong show. They'll never notice us here. And then there's the sticker. There's a little bit of It's still got the gong on it, but you know what? It's actually still in fairly good shape. It's not wrecked gong. like some, come, some cards are. So that was the 1977 Gong Show card and the Smelly there's card. There's three. There's three. Which one would you like next? You can either open the either one of the Desert Storms or Batman. It's up to you. We're opening them least to greatest. So go. Okay. Well, I was trying to put the other ones away. All right. Let's try. Why is my mouth dry? Because of our nice gum. And I'm giving us a break because this one here doesn't have any Neither gum. Neither does the other two. Neither does the other two? Well, that's good because I hope the other two are the same. Okay, so there's your Desert Storm. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not gonna read through these. Just going to show them? Yeah, because we're kind of running a little bit long. We're 16 minutes. Yep, so we're running a little bit Actually, long. We're not too bad. We still have considering. best to open. Well, we don't have to open it all right now. Yes, we do. Oh. Because we'll just talk about that it's our time. Oh. My pocket fell. Sure. Well, that's the reason we did just these calls. Oh, our today. sticker was the United States Central Command. We do not have that sticker. Well, actually, we do. Now. Actually, the, all three of those that we got for those. I'm yeah. only going to read the stickers because those are the only important ones. Sure. Those are the most important ones. Sure. The Pentagon. That sounds important. If you gave me the... Uh, I do have... What is that? Is that it a... That be the 34th Armor oh, model. It's a shield. Arm for victory. Shield. Yeah. Why would they build the Pentagon like a Pentagon? And what happens if they just made it... Like it could have been worse. They could have built a square, or called it a square, and built it like a pentagon. That would have been way worse. At the controls. Oh, you opened the victory ones first. Uh, yes. All three of them. Yeah. Ooh, oh, I like that one. Desert Storm sticker. Okay, you did keep those separate, right? So I can go right back into the same packages. Yep, because the sticker stands out. Same thing there. Okay. We have a flag that I do not know. Of the United that is Nations. The United Nations flag. Well, now I know because the Paul's flag still isn't the same. Yes, it is actually. Really? Still the United Nations flag. Okay, I'm gonna put these. Oh no, I was gonna put the sports in there. Otherwise, I'm going to get behind, and I don't want to get behind. Chiv 47. What? The Ch 47. The Chiv 47? Yeah. I don't understand what that means, but okay. Uh, the, here, I'll put the card up. The oh. Ch 47. CH 47 Chinook. Yeah. The Ch 47. And then we have the flag that means the most to us Canadians, the Canadian flag. <laughs> Go figure. Oh. Well, you didn't keep these separate. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. That was you. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it I was. had, them, uh, had them in the middle. Nope. Yes, I did. Oh, no, you didn't. I had didn't. a sticker on the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, like this. No. You didn't. Yeah, I did. And then we have the Saudi Arabian flag. I did say that right, right? Saudi Arabian. Saudi, Saudi. Saudi Arabia. Oh, we forgot to do our mail day song. Well, this is more than a mail day. This is, uh... What, did you tell them what we're doing now? Oh, sorry, we're doing the Batman return set. From what year?
1992. I had to look it up. That's fine. I still remember watching all these movies when I was three. Or something like that. You still watch all these movies. Yeah, I haven't seen it. the Batman ones in a while. The original ones? Yeah. Alright, we're now continuing well, with... Technically, these aren't the original ones. Oh, well, the remake. But I will say... It's that is still my favorite Batman. Out of all the Batmans... Michael Keaton is my favorite Batman. Technically, you don't know every Batman. Well, out of the movies that I've seen mm -hmm. and TV shows mm -hmm. that I've seen, um, Adam West would be a very close second. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the kid from Gotham. The kid he played, from Gotham he played, the TV show? Yeah, he played Bruce Wayne. Yes, he was good. Just so. technically, Bruce Wayne is Batman, and he becomes Batman in the final season. Correct. Well, I don't know. I've never seen the final Neither season. Neither have I, but I've heard rumors that that's what happens. Okay. Yep. Next up, I'm going. we're going to do the Battlestar Galactic set. Okay. I'm opening the bottom one. Is gum? There is gum. And it oh stayed in one piece. Oh, we got one piece. Ooh, one piece gum. Oh, show them that, that again. Look at that nice yellowish beige colored gum. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, that was hard. Are you not going to eat the whole piece? <laughs> no. Nope. Could have just ate the whole piece. Oh, crunchy. Mmm. <laughs> Did you show them them cards? The yeah. stadium club? Oh, that was bad. Actually, it's not bad at the beginning. Then it gets way worse. But the longer you... We're doing the Battlestar Star Galactica. Oh, Jeez. my gee. The longer oh. you crunch it, the worse it gets. That is not good. That is... Now um, we got Alien Warrior. We're not trying for every pack, are we? No. Okay, good. We don't have to try. What year are these? Uh, 19... Oh, guess what? Hmm. Another full. Oh, yeah. These guys knew how to do their freaking gum. I guess. Or their stickers. Well, no, they're not stuck to the, the all the gum pieces of gum. 1978. Are nice and everything looks good. I've never seen this TV show and or movie. Oh, I, uh, we, your mom and I really liked it. And in fact, it's Mama the remake, Shaw. Mama Shaw, mm -hmm. she, uh, her and I liked the remake they just did too. Actually, they did the remake a while ago. Well, a few years ago. And I'm trying to keep all the packs separate. Thanks again, Brian. These are, you are awesome. Um, <coughs> the stuff you do for the card community in a whole, in whole, and let alone for little guys like us. Thank you for giving us the delicious gum. Mm-hmm. Especially and the this first. This one's done? There's the first two, yeah. Especially the first two. Especially the first two gums? Yep. Why, because they weren't bad? <laughs> they were not bad. Mm -hmm. The second one was a little bit worse than the first That's one. That's the reason he picks out his packs for us, is he's trying to he's get trying best to... flavored gum? Yep. I guess he just liked this one more when he was a kid. I, maybe. And the sticker we got is Commander Adama. Adama. That's what I said, Adama. No, it's Adama. Adama. Okay. Me cha-cha. Edward A. James Olmos was the Adama in the remake. Remake, and they did a really good job. I really enjoyed oh, it. Oh. But I, mean, I will admit, growing up, we watched Battlestar Galactica as a family every day, and it uh, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We were always a, a fan of it. Did you like the robot dog? Yes. They didn't have a robot dog in the remake. That was terrible. Uh, the Imperious Leader. Here's the sticker for this one. Oh, and this gum all came off in one piece. And we're not trying to come until we get there. All right. Let me, do that. Let me get this one. Okay. Okay. Sure. I don't think you'd want to try another piece of gum from 
Who mm -hmm. made these tops? Um, I'm wondering, but there's uh, the advertising on the back of these. Mm -hmm. Most of it is bazooka gum. Bazooka gum was good. Yeah, bazooka is one of your top. Flavor. Oh, we got cast casted OP. On these new ones, Close Encounters, which is next, it's smooth and juicy bubble gum by Bazooka. Oh boy. Maybe it'll be smooth entering, but terrible exiting. I don't know. Okay, so we got the sticker in the middle of this pack. Yeah, I noticed that. Cassiopeia. Okay. Mm. Oh, I hear the producer yelling at somebody. Yeah, the producer's lonely. Who is that? Who's what? Her. Uh, the, the Space Supreme. Uh, they call it Sister Supremes or something like that. It'll come up because, mm, spoiler alert, we got, we got our sticker. Mm -hmm. I only know because I had to move it. Her name is Android Sister. Oh, Android Sister. There you go. Okay, so that's it for the Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. Again, Brian, thank you so much. Right, gums that's in this the, one? Yep, yeah, that's... Well, the gums actually come out really good in a couple of them, so... There's our gum for the... Oh, it's nice and beige and... Too. Mmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's very not, like, soft. Very not like soft. Yeah. That's very not like English. <laughs> I know. So, let's... Come on. Oh, that's the crunchiest gum we've ever had. And probably the worst tasting we've ever had. It's stuck on my teeth. <laughs> that is, you know what? I think that gum was a non-close encounter of the worst kind. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's not nice. Actually, mine was fine because I, I chewed it all with my mouth open. I chomped down on it. But I will admit, um, I'm amazed the... Uh, Not more of these cards have ruined. Well, yeah, there, there's no gum mm. stains on them, or mm. which is very, very rare for older cards like oh, this. Oh, we got sticker number five. Oh, cool. We do actually have some of these. I know. Because um, we use the TCDB and trade. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's another piece of perfectly crafted gum. Oh, oh that was a lot more pink than the other one was. Well, you're going to try it, eh? You're going to do the whole thing. Do you want me to? You're That's gonna... totally up to you, dude. Uh... <laughs> wow. <laughs> that wasn't a good sound. Tell you what I'll do. Because you did one whole piece. I'll do one whole piece. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> it's so powdery. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll put you back on the screen. Um, let's not uh, do whole pieces anymore. Wow. Uh, it has no taste. It's just powder. Mmm. Ah. Oh. Oh. It sounds like I'm having an orgasm, but it feels. <laughs> but it feels like I'm dying on the inside. That's a lot of too much information there. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is it sounds better than it tastes. It doesn't really sound that good. It has to sound a little bit better than it tastes. A bit too far ahead. Oh, you forgot there was a piece of gum on there. Oh, there was? Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's why you don't leave the back. That's why you don't leave the gum in the packs. Because you know I'm an idiot. And I'll end up making this do something that we'll regret. Uh. 
<laughs> Last pack magic for the uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Oh, we're going to do sticker first. Okay. Now we're at 30 minutes. Yeah, all right. We are finishing up with the jaws. We are going to? Yep. All right. So we're going to be a little long. Um, on this unless we wanted to use the jaws as slot fillers and then have Jaws's gum like three times completely forgetting that we had it before. No. It's up to you. We can save it or we can do it. All right. So we are going to do it. Okay. We're each going to have a piece of the gum and then I'm going to kind of breeze ish through it. Well, yeah, but just remember, I gotta put them all right back in their pack so I know. Yeah. So once I'm done, I'll tell you. You can keep packing it up while we say goodbye. Okay. I got a pack here. I got a full piece of gum. Oh boy. Got a little bit oh, of a stain on that. Card. I got. I got a crack. But they say. Oh, it's on the card. It's on the sticker. They say rubbing them with nylons will get the, a lot of that gum residue off. I like don't like to wreck my nylons, so I... Um, what yeah. are nylons? Things that women wear. Oh, you're not going to take a bigger piece? Do you want a bigger piece? It smells like cardboard. <laughs> oh, God. He just fit half of it. Oh. <laughs> well, she went harder than the last one. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, my God. At least it's not powder. No, it's just chunky. <laughs> oh my god. That is the worst gum. Oh wait, I just got a piece that tasted like gum. <laughs> but it's overpowered by the non-tasting gum. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what year are these? Um, 1978. <laughs> We had a 1977 <laughs> one that was better. Mm. 43 year old gum. <laughs> mm. Some people might eat it like popcorn because they think that it tastes good. Yeah, but you're so hard. <laughs> that is the hardest gum I've ever had. If you do, just go to our garbage bin next oh Thursday. Oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot to show them the package. Oh, uh, oh, Ring Pop. Yeah, it's sponsoring Ring Pop at the back. Mm -hmm. I guess Ring Pop must have made gum back in there. Sugar-free bazooka. Glory days, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, there's dust residue all over my table. That is gum dust. Oh, that's not good. I think as long as you don't breathe it in... You're fine. <laughs> you might not want to breathe it out. <laughs> yeah. Your lungs might be tasting like bubble gum for a cannibal later. Oh. <laughs> Papa Jay's going I, live in 30 minutes. Attention, everybody. The one thing I will admit, so that means Brian Z will be there. Brian Z is always on Papa Jay's. And then we could link our YouTube channel to Papa Jay's thing. No. Or we could link the video. Well, no, because he's live. Yeah. So we still got to download it. No, he's, he's, he's live in 30 minutes. I know. You know what, though? One thing I will admit about the G, the Jaws gum. It still it had a little bit of burst of taste. Well, it kind of bites you back like a shark would, but no, it uh, it doesn't give you the aftertaste that ever, all a lot of the other ones did. And it didn't become powder. No, it didn't uh, That's good. That's disintegrate good. immediately. That, that's good, too. Not that I would recommend everyone to go out and get some Jaws gum, but... I think we've already opened this pack. You really need to hurry, because I may be going through a pack for the second time, and I wouldn't even know. Did I'm you do not... this one already? Yes. Well, you're I'm... supposed to be putting them up here when they're done, not I... down oh, here. Oh, okay. Because that's where I'm, I'm putting them, stuff. down there. What's you want? Needs now is love, sweet love. Is the yeah, obviously the gum made them go loopy, people. Hold it to love, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. This the only thing that is just too little of. If there's anything, please feel free to uh, 
slow down the video because I know he's kind of buzzing through these, even though these. This is one movie that I can admit that the second movie is as good as the first. I don't know if other people would agree with you. That's fine if they don't. They don't have to. Yeah, and then the and then the series kind of went downhill. Oh, this one isn't as hard as the other one. <laughs> I got bored, so I thought I'd eat another piece of Jaws gum. Is that one better than the other ones? Um, I haven't had the birds to taste yet. I did. You must have got the tasty piece, because I didn't. <laughs> I took a little nibble off the side there. Well, I bet half the freaking thing I looked. This is like our favorite pastime, chewing on old gum. I wouldn't really say it's my one of my favorite pastimes. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> oh, there's the best, there's the favorite shot. Nah, the best shot. Right there. Oh. Why, because he's in a bikini running from a shark? Well, no, that's the promo for the uh, movie. Oh, man, that piece was bad. It turned you know, yeah, out. but it, well, you know what? It didn't powder again. It did, my piece did. Oh, mine didn't. And I took the same but thing as yours. The, I didn't get the... I get the burst of taste. I, I didn't get the burst, the burst of taste, and... I had the burst of taste, but it went bad. Surprisingly, our stomachs haven't turned. You're going a little too fast now. Oh, I am? Oh, sorry. Yeah. You've sped up, and you're getting to the point where I can't keep up. That means we keep talking about the Jaws franchise and how it went real bad after the third well, one. Well, the third one was okay. bad, and the fourth one was really bad. And yet, But unfortunately, you can only do so much. I watch and kind of like the fourth one. The mechanical best. shark that wouldn't cooperate. But that was the best thing about the first mo movie was... They had so many problems with the shark, they couldn't get it to work. So that's why mo you don't see the shark for three quarters of the movie. Because they had so many problems, they couldn't get it to work. Did you know... But they uh, did a lot of anticipation of the shark, and that's what made it so good. Did you know the original girl? The, the, the first original girl, girl. Who got... Yeah, at the beginning of the movie. Yeah, who got chucked underwater. Yeah. She did not know when it was coming. She was just told to stand there and wait. They actually had cables. Mm hmm and pulled her around by the cables and actually broke three of her ribs. Oh, but she had no clue what was happening. Because she had no idea what was coming and when, and it was so violently that they shook her that, yeah, she ended up injuring her. And yet, it's still one of the but greatest But it went scenes. overpriced. Overpriced. It went over budget, and they had so many problems with the shark sinking and other problems, because, of course, all mechanics in water, mm -hmm. but it's still one of the greatest film franchises because of the first two movies. But uh, never said they made the fifth one. Well, they're making supposed to be doing a remake now. Now we're not sure if it's going to be doing a reboot. I wonder if they have any or, of the original actors. I don't know. I don't know because I haven't seen the movie. I hope they do. Because Roy Schneider was an awesome in it. Oh, is he? A Chief Brody. Mm -hmm. Richard Dreyfus, he was supposed to be in the second movie. But because he was out making uh, Close Encounters, he couldn't. You mean the other movie that we have? The other cards that we got from Brian Z. Bart at Z's Collections. Mm. Everybody, guys, help me. I'm sucking on this gum like it's a lollipop. Help you. I don't know if there is any help for you. These are awesome. I love that shot, too. It just keeps getting drier. What, the gum? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm talking about the movie. <laughs> and I'm opening up the last pack. And this one's just a little bit of a longer video. All right, here, here's, video. here's your uh, here's your question for the video. For anybody that's still watching? Yeah. What's your favorite Saw movie? Or not Saw. Jaws. Jaws. What's your favorite Jaws movie? Mine, I'd have to say, is the fourth one. Really? I, I've only watched the fourth one and the third one, and I thought that the third one sucked. 
Oh, the 3D. Well, they tried 3D back when 3D wasn't good. Yeah. Yep, so I still haven't seen the first and second. Oh, those are the best ones. It's because Officer Brody's in it. <clears throat> Dad. And that is it. Yes, it is. So thank you so, so, so much, Brian. These are awesome. Dad. And all these non-sport what? We're going to need a bigger channel. We're going to need a bigger channel, are we? For all the subscribers that we're reeling in. Mm-hmm. Thank you to all of our subscribers, by the way. I'm making some fishy jokes. Yeah. Wow. So everybody, please go subscribe to Z's Collections. Brian is a great guy, big supporter of so many channels, including us, obviously. And yeah, Brian, thank you so much. You uh, you put some smiles on a an old man's heart with a couple kids that love this stuff. Mm -hmm. They got me back into collecting, and I'm really glad they did. It's yeah. something we do together. It was all just me. Well, it was you, but you got your brother into it too now. Mm -hmm. And it's something fun that the three of us can do together. So, yeah. Thanks, Brian. Uh, everybody, please go sub Z's collection. Let's get them over 100 anyway. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. We got some really, really awesome cards. A lot of memories of... Uh, all these movies and shows we got so but yeah other than that thanks Brian we'll open up the rest of these packs as uh, time gone. fillers on different videos along with the packs that we got from some other people and yeah that's about it well so thank you everybody for watching and uh, have a fucking good day you're still chewing on that gum <laughs> I am still